Good morning, good afternoon all. I'm here to um, briefly, briefly show you the IO-Link mini panel display. Um, what we're trying to do is to show that IO-Link is the platform of communication and when we use all our devices, couple them together and then see what we can achieve. All of these which are in the display here are regular pneumatics and uh, stepper motor controllers and things which are already there in the catalog. But when we use them in a platform with uh, the IO link configuration, we achieve some benefits and advantages. Now, if you look here, we have um, an electric drive here, which is driven by a stepper motor controller. We have um, a linear cylinder with a position sensor. We have an electron electro-pneumatic regulator, a pressure switch, a gap checker, and a valve manifold. So all of these are IO link compatible and they communicate in the IO-Link mode. Now, IO-Link is actually a base platform. It's a common standard protocol, and um, there are a couple of advantages when you use them. What we're trying to achieve here is that all of these devices, they perform, there's a lot of data generated from them, and then they are brought to a HMI screen here. And then let's say that this is probably uh, in a remote location or probably in another country and we're able to view the performance and also predict the failure of all of these, or probably even just monitor. So just to show you how it works, uh, the power supply is on, um, and I start. So the actuator moves, and then the cylinder, um, it measures if there is a workpiece or not. So when it measures and then it gives back uh, an output on the position. So the last one is a seed which says whether the workpiece is present or not. And then the output is from the gap checker. And you can see the reading here in the gap check in the last one. HMI, the graphic user interface. Now, since all of them are connected by IOLink, you can go into each of these devices and then see the performance. For example, I'm going to go into the stepper motor controller. And then here I can see all the parameters which it generates. And uh, I can even go into the read mode, which is gonna do a real time reading of the values. And then it will publish them in those columns. Yes, all of them are measured real time. And there's another option where I can go to demo screen and then see this real time. This is a very good indication because this could be um, a remote access and then you can see how things are working although you're not near the system. You can also see that the measurement values are real time. As it moves, the values also move. So I'm gonna move out to the menu and then go to another um, component which is probably, say this one, the position sensor. Reading the values and they're all there. And then I get a real time value as well. So the advantage of this is that, um, one is you can uh, communicate all the data, but two is you can control all the data. And the third most important thing which you can use is that it is used for diagnosis. So when something is going wrong or probably something is on the decline, probably three or four months down the line, when you see that performance of the sensor or the actuator is going down or there's, there's something going wrong with the pressure, you can see that the values are declining, which, with which you can predict that probably it will fail in a couple of months' time. So it's a very good tool for maintenance, for prediction, and also for control. Okay, so we, now we saw that all the devices are connected 
uh, via IO link. Now, how are they connected is um, very simple. What we see here is there are two options. In this system, they're all connected via the IO link master, which you see here. All the IO link cables are universal. They all have the four wire cable and then they are connected via the um, IO link master here. In this system, you can see that the IO link master is uh, connected behind. So this is how it looks like. So when you're talking to your customer, this is very important. This is something which they already have in the system. And we're only providing with the hardware, which are IO-Link compatible. So the IO-Link master compares, uh, has um, an Ethernet COM, power supply, and all the IO-Link nodes, which are connected to the analog devices or the digital ones. Um, this is a third party um, component, which here in this case it is from Mitsubishi. A lot of companies have this, um, IFM has it, um, um, Festo has it, a lot of companies have it. Now, what is important is that from SMC's point of view, we don't have a master as such, what we saw, but we have it in our EX600 system. We have a separate module here, you can see SMC IO Link. This is the IO Link master. So when you're using uh, pneumatics or electrics from SMC, you just have to use it coupled up with the EX600. And then it's pretty much the same as what you see here. And then from the master, it is connected to the PLC via various modes. In this case, it is using CC Link. There's Ethernet IP, there's EtherCAT, there's so many different protocols which can be used. So when you're talking to the customer, please remember that uh, we need to have an IO Link master, and then which is connected to the PLC. And then from the IO Link master are connected all our devices. These devices can be SMC, they could be from IFM, they could be from other sensor companies. It doesn't matter, as long as you're all IO Link compatible, it can be connected to the master and then to our system.